Hello everyone and welcome back to Mew Lives, the kitten rescue and cafe. And we are here with Amelia, the future owner of said kitten rescue and cafe. And she's been having such a miserable morning. She is not enjoying her career as a dishwasher at the, uh, the Happy Tummies Pink Bakery. They may have amazing food and celebrities who stop by for that brand name all the time, but they're not very kind to her and they don't like cats and they keep chasing Clover away when she goes to work for them, which makes her super sad. She does not like to be apart from her best friend. And, you know, she did decide to take the day off to try making her own baked goods since nobody at work seems to believe that she is a good chef and a, can make a good baked dish. They won't even let her near any of the cupcake machines. Uh, but then, you know, she's been chased by bees. She's just having kind of a rough start. And she's hoping that today things might turn around. She really wants to share more of Clover's adventures with her grandmother. So she wants to get a computer so that, that can make things a little easier. And then maybe she'll be able to look up local events and basically stay on top of ideas and all of the different, uh, different progress that she wants to make if she had a computer. So her goal today is to bake enough goods that she can sell them over at the Salty Paws... <laughs> She's no, that's too complex. You're already uncomfortable. Support your neck woman. So her goal is to make enough baked goods that she can go to and gosh, uh, I heard there's someone famous over at the lounge. Want to check it out. Lily, Lily, we're good. We're not really interested in fame as much as we're interested in trying to make a difference in the world by helping out all these cats. And there we go, the Salty Paws Farmer's Market. I just had to remember the name of it because I was so tired of not remembering the name. Whoops, and I didn't mean to actually exit out of what we were doing with Amelia. <laughs> I meant to travel with her. Don't mind me, guys. Apparently, Amelia is not the only one having a slightly uncomfortable start to the day. Whoops, but let's resume. So Amelia wants to go to the Salty Paws Farmer's Market and sell a bunch of great baked bread today. Uh, and she's trying to do some yoga, which she hasn't done since she moved in, to sort of bring herself to feeling calmer and getting over the fact that bees and everything swarmed her. But we did go ahead and collect up some of the insects that were around just to try to make up for the bees chasing her. And where is... Oh, look at our kitty! Okay, can I drag this? Okay, put in inventory. You were supposed to bring it to us, my dear. Okay, we'll go collect those feathers in just a little bit. Apparently Clover is out chasing birds again. Here's another batch of birds, Clover. Go for it, buddy. If you want to go ahead and chase some birds for a bit, I don't think your mom will complain. She actually wants to meet another cat, so I was thinking she could, like, hang out with some of the cats down by the dock today, too. But she's super hungry, so let's let her get some leftovers. What did she feel like? I love letting Sims just get their own food. She felt like having... Is that one of her blueberry? I think that's... Hang on one second. Is that a blueberry bagel? That is a blueberry bagel. And it is excellent quality. So you know what? The people at her work are really eroding her confidence in her baking Ooh. skills. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to yeah. feed her. We're going to get her like nice and happy with a bagel. And then we're going to change into our cutest stuff. We're going to play with our cat as soon... Clover, where are you? Oh, Clover, there you are. Where are you going? Okay, he's gonna check under the bed. We're gonna come play with our cat. Uh, we're gonna feel the love because we love our cat very much. And that will also give her a huge boost. Actually, how is she doing? She's actually got quite a lot of aspiration points because she's always cuddling Clover. Holy cow! I mean, I could give her quite a few things. Uh, depending on what she wants. Does she want to be a speed cleaner or waterproof? I feel like she's kind of a morning sim, to be honest. But, uh, marketable sims, that's only for things that you've crafted. Stoves and grill masters have a chance to create impeccable quality, uh, consumables from stoves and grills. Does that include, like, impeccable would be making something over here? Because that would be really cool. Does that work for, like, baking? Maybe. We, we'll, we'll look into that. Entrepreneurial, more likely to get promoted in the career. Incredibly friendly is kind of her for sure. Uh, carefree is kind of her once she starts working with more kittens, I think. Uh, and then 
forever fresh, forever full, never weary. I'm not sure. Like, maybe a money tree at some point in the future. Uh, we'll have to think about that. Oh, she could plant the money tree at her home lot since this is a retail lot. And we could use the money to just, like, build up. That would be so cute if we took her happiness and her joy and her aspiration points and got the money tree fruit and then planted it over on her home lot and then just used all of the income from that more or less to take care of that little public park we were going to make and start having, like, clubs meet there. That would be so fun. And Amelia just is the kind of Sim who doesn't mind hard work and likes to try to give back to communities. So I could totally see her taking whatever the money tree has to offer. Can we fill the love? Maybe? Uh, let's see. Play with a uh, laser pointer? Let's go ahead and play with laser pointer so we have a little bit of fun. Because I think he wants to play too. Let lick face. Let's go ahead and hug our cat. They both love doing this. Look at how happy she gets from this. But we don't want to take too long because we do want to start baking a whole bunch. She took a vacation day off work. She's too too polite to lie and say that she was feeling sick. Uh, she just used up one of her two vacation days, which I don't think would impress them. But alas, that's just where she's at right now. Oh, she's feeling super playful. You know what? Okay, choices, play in the rain, outfits, change outfit. Let's change her into her cutest baking outfit. And now that she has, and let's simstagram the cat. Oh, we can feel the love again. Yay. There we go. We'll let them feel the love. There's some bugs we could catch outside, but we'll ignore them for now. They don't sell for a lot. There. And with a little bit of feeling the love from our boy Clover. And look at how the bakery is starting to shape up now that we do have the counters from work, actually. That is, there is something to be said for gaining some experience. Maybe she won't quit the, the career that she's in just yet. But now we're going to, how can I get her inspired? It's raining outside. So I don't think she'd get inspired from that. But let's just have her bake for a little bit. So what should we bake? Uh, she's feeling playful, so actually, can I have her cook? Can I have her cook? Uh, oh, she, oh, honey, we need honey. And unfortunately, I don't think her skill is high enough to make pancakes. Because <laughs> uh, that would be so fun to have her make the gummy bear pancakes that you can make when you're feeling playful. But it's going to be a little bit before we can do that. So let's just go ahead and have her bake. Why not? Something to sell. Maybe a sourdough loaf. Let's try a sourdough loaf. And just start there. Might as well. And then once we have a good little collection of foods, we'll go and we will show everyone that we've got we've got some good baking. And I actually want her to start baking over here. So I might put something down. We do have 433 simoleons. We're trying to save up enough for that computer so we can simstagram and send more pictures of Clover to Grandma. And then eventually start working on the media production uh, aspiration or like the skill. Because she's going to make herself famous for the cats, basically. And the best way I think we could do that is media production and turning Clover into a Simstagram cat star. A cat tube star. Uh, but I do want her to stop baking at this one. So we're actually going to take just a second. Oh, she's got so much more money than I realized. Nice. Thank you, Clover, for all of the things you've given us. We have 774 samoles. Oh my gosh, that's so much more than I thought we had. All right, let's come over. And we're gonna give her something to make cooking a little easier. Where's one of the choppy choppies? You know, the little food processor things. You, you drop the food in, it does all the work for you. Don't we have a little choppy choppy thing? Do they not have that in this version of Sims? Now I'm gonna seem like a weirdo for being like, where's my choppy choppy? I mean it, like. Don't they, don't they have a, they, they don't? What? 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 I could have sworn they had like a food processor or something like that, but apparently not. Wow. Uh, we have a teapot. Hmm. We have a fountain of mirth. Hmm. The cupcake factory is still beyond our, our abilities. And I would actually like to make a basement to make the cupcake factory in. Eventually we might have like a merch basement where she makes all of her cupcakes that we sell with the, with, with the Clover and the Mew Lives logo on it. 
<laughs> uh, in the basement. That would be so funny. Uh, all right, let's just put something decorative there then. I hate to use that spot for something that's just going to be clutter, but I do want her to cook somewhere else and it would look really weird not to have uh, some sort of, you know, just it, it would look super duper weird not to have a counter there. Um, actually, well, a dishwasher could go there eventually. This is cute. A little deco mason jar. Yeah, there we go. We'll put some baking clutter down. I could totally, that's so cute. And of course, Instagram pictures always have clutter all over the place. So we need to put down some nice little clutter anyway. And it will use like baking clutter. Now I'm excited. No, not a baby bundle. Holy holidays. Uh, let's jump in the gun, gun a little bit. Uh, let's see. The little ramekins are always cute. There's a bunt pan. Do I have bitey bug on or something? Cause I've got all these options, but they're so adorable. Look at them. We can put down so much cute stuff. Uh, and actually like there's even a broom, a little cookie sheet, a cookie sheet would be so fun. And then to put things on top of the cookie sheet. Okay, I get way too excited if you can't tell by uh, clutter items. I think that cluttering up a area is just one of the funnest ways to really show a lot about a Sim's personality. Is that an ingredient? Oh my gosh. It's perfect. It fits exactly in this space. Look at that. And now we have an adorable clutter counter. Here, can we put up something? I wish I could send her shopping for something. Like a two friends sign. There's kitty cats, but I don't think she'd go for decals personally. I think she would want something a little fancier. <gasps> but there's seven days of pets. Oh, that'd be kind of cute to hang up somewhere. Just to, just to get some cats on the wall. And there's even, oh, the cat inspirational poster. Oh, that's really cute too. Uh, would we have that one though? Maybe? It is a cat cafe. Maybe like, hang in there little kitties. Okay, we want to spend our money on more important things. Uh, but I'm happy. Now it's really starting to look more like a lived in location. And we actually could afford to start selling things from here, but uh, I, I wanted to, like I've been saying, look like a cafe first. So we're working on that. And I just love the idea of her trying to prove herself by, because the bakery that she wants to run is not open yet, going ahead and just baking a bunch of stuff. Can I bake? Oh, I don't have any money to bake. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we're gonna transfer those funds again. Uh, 686, there we go. Thank you. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, that little cluttered counter is so cute. I'm so happy with that. Uh, but let's bake some more stuff really quickly. Oh, fruit pie. We haven't baked any fruit pie yet. That'll be fun. And then once we're done with fruit pie, let's make maybe some cheesy bread. And once we have like four or five things as she whips through this, we'll take all the fresh baked goods and we'll go ahead and head down. This is the kind, actually, this is the perfect vacation day for, for somebody like her, isn't it? This is just absolutely perfect. This is what she wants. And she doesn't really have a friend yet. Uh, so I wonder if we could have her like go to a baking class somewhere, like a baking club. In fact, who is into, hmm, we might have a baking club meet at like a, a, different place like maybe a little grandma's house we could have a house and a little grandma and maybe she goes to she trusts grandmothers to know how to cook really good food having had a very excellent grandmother baker herself <gasps> she's level five now she can now bake carrot cake lemon bars uh carrot bread spinach and mushroom quiche potato bread spinach and onion quiche in a kitchen and she can bake cream filled donuts plain scones jelly filled donuts at the cupcake factory nice that is so exciting congratulations amelia let's get a couple more things going she's really naturally talented at this and it helps that we happen to be in a um in a place that has a lot trait for good cooking let's have her do some cheesy bread she unfortunately needs a whole bunch of fresh veggies to make like carrot cake and things but i think she'd be feeling carrot cake tis the autumnal season after all so let's have her go ahead and bake a couple cheesy breads and mm -hmm. I think she's feeling more like, uh, more cheesy. Oh, in fact, let's get something so she has some music. It's way quiet in here and I feel like she wants a little bit of sound. So let's actually transfer over some sound, like some, some sound. Let's transfer over some money. And we do want to get her a computer, but 
I feel like she needs something. There's a plum bo box, fun one. She needs something, but I guess we'll save up for the slick beats. Yeah, we won't we won't have her spend her funds just yet. Never mind. Because uh, she does want to be able to have a computer to start talking to her grandma. And I do want to get her a drone so that she can get better video of Clover so that we can start using the get famous things to make Clover a star. All right, so let's finish up. Maybe two more things. We have one, two. Excellent quality, excellent quality. That'll show the people at her work. Clover is doing really good not getting on top of all of the... Uh, good job, Clover. We'll go ahead, maybe feed you a little treat. He's doing a great job of not getting on top of the counters or eating the people food anymore. And then I think we'll have time for one more. So let's try another cheesy bread because it's pretty complicated. How did the cheesy bread go? Uh, let's see. Another excellent quality. I think that those will sell for quite a bit over at the market. So let's get this one done too. I can't wait for us to have kittens. So while she's busy baking. And she did get money from her day off too. But yeah, once she has the kittens, while she's busy baking, we can watch the kittens play. And she wants to talk about her dreams with someone and the cat's asleep. So let's do this, guys. We are now going to go ahead. We are going to travel. Dun, 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 dun. And we're going to see if this can work. Uh, it, it's raining, so it may not be the best day. It may be inconvenient. It might make the bread soggy. But I feel like Amelia would want to give it a go. So we're going to come to the cat hangout, uh, Salty Paws Farmer's Market. That's also haunted. I don't think Clover will actually come with us this time. Because I feel like Clover will be like, hello, it's raining. And he's also sleeping in the kitchen after watching us have baked all day. So he might be a little tired. But what a fun vacation day for her. Oh, Clover, you did follow us. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, buddy. Here, we're gonna go ahead. He's he's gonna come over. We'll give him a little pet. He's so loyal. Uh, let's go ahead, give him a pet, and then Simstagram him, and then go ahead and talk about. Let's send send it to Grandma. <laughs> Get a tip from Grandma yet again. Then Clover will come over in just a minute to chase those birds. Oh, hello, Clover. You are constantly just from this angle, eh? Maybe we can... It's like, Grandma, look who followed me when I was going to try selling my goods at the Salty Paws Market, just like you suggested. I feel like her grandma gave her this idea. There we go. Clover's gained some followers, which is so cute. And then we're going to go ahead. He's going to chase those birds. I don't think anybody, like... What? I can't turn the table. Run the stock interaction. Stock table. There's nothing to stock from this table's inventory. Put in... What? Oh, man. I have to own that table first. <laughs> I really thought I could just come here and like, boom, I'm selling stuff, guys. Get out of my way. Uh, but apparently not. That is a little bit not what I had in mind. Uh, and actually, I'm kind of interested to see how like none of these places seem to have people ever show up. So I might have to kind of play that by ear. Like I, I have heard of people doing things with this. She's playing in the rain. Oh my goodness. And we just got a whole bunch of feathers. Thank you, Clover. Darn it. So we came to the market, but no one's here. I wonder if it's because this is set as a retail lot and we actually need to set it as like a park or something. Huh, because I want to be able to use this table. I guess we have to own that table. <sighs> that is not what I wanted. Hmm. All right, there we go. This is much, much more like it. I am so happy right now. But we are here at the fair. So there is actually a little like country fair going on in Brindleton Bay right now. I need to remember to download that special mod that allows all of these to be open at the same time so that we could just shop wherever we wanted. But we are over here and we are running a yard sale right now. Look at this fair. 
This is so cool. There's just so much stuff. Oh my gosh, I love these. I wish we could actually buy these. This is such a cute way to set up like a little fair. This is adorable. Some of the stuff is missing. It's probably no big deal, but this is so cute. I love this. And we are trying to run a yard sale right now and really hoping that somebody will come and, and want to buy some of our food, but it is raining. So I'm not sure if we'll have any takers. And it looks like there is a celebrity. There's Holly Alto, who's trying to make some art over here. Maybe as the result of some sort of like, um, maybe she's trying to do some sort of promotion. And then who's this? Anja is coming over to like do some art. That is so cool. I think we would definitely come and talk to her. That's so interesting. You can see there's like a photography station. This is so cool. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the electronics are broken, huh? And need like some help being fixed. And I wonder if one of these stalls for food will open up because that would be kind of nice. But we'll have to see. Oh, we have people coming. <gasps> They're actually thinking about our food, including a celebrity. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I have never actually successfully used this thing before. So this is really fun. But look, we have people. <gasps> Somebody bought something! Thank you so much, Judith! She got some of our cheesy bread! Oh my gosh, and look, she's like walking away with her entourage now. That's amazing! Wow! Clover, we did it! We actually managed to, to sell something. That is so fun. Can I pet you while we're like manning this yard sale? Or is this like, we can only man the, the little yard sale? Let's see what happens. Hello? Hello? Would you? Oh, look at this, Alex. I love you, Alex, because you love my cat. We'll have to say hello to you. This is so cute. So on this rainy day here at the fair, will we be able to sell our food? Judith Ward bought it, but it looks like, it looks like Dominic and Jeffrey. Is it too expensive? I did, I did mark up the prices to 200%. Come on, because, well, we did, it did only cost us, like, oh, cheesy bread. Cheesy bread is the name of the game. Look at how much money we've gotten from this. I think that this is really we boosting Amelia's confidence to be able to, like, run this little yard sale. People are coming. Not as many people now. Oh, look at that. Holly Alto, a B-lister, likes our cat. Oh, my gosh. Oh, look, and people, people are, like, there's more people coming over. Wait. Aster's a fan of us already? Aster, hi! He must have heard how we are actually like trying to run a cat rescue in the future. Oh, look, and we've got more people coming. Please buy my stuff. I really want to get a computer so that we can interact with our, our grandma. Is it too expensive? Oh, wait, 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 the pie has disappeared. We are down to just the sour loaf bread. And you know what? We'll even mark it down a little bit in the hopes that we can get a bit more attention. Cassandra has just fainted. Actually, I wonder if they're a fan, like, I think they're a fan of Holly, not us. I got way ahead of ourselves there. All right, oh, hey, Lily, Lily, if you're gonna be here, Lily just showed up to say goodbye. Okay, and it looks like we sold everything but the sourdough loaf. That was really cool. I really liked that, nice. All right, so we're done tending the table. Our cat, Clover, really needs to use the restroom. We'll go ahead and put that table away. Uh, at least I, if I can, get into our inventory place. Put in inventory. Put the table in the inventory. There we go. All right, that was awesome, guys. We'll go ahead and feel the love. Yeah, actually, the, she's a fan of Holly, not of us. Now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> that I made that mistake. Uh, but we'll feel the love and feel confident because look at that. See, see, Clover, our food was good enough that people wanted it. And now we might have enough money to get a computer to talk to grandma and then eventually, hopefully, get a drone and a media center uh, that we can, so we can just like follow Clover around all the time. Hmm. Okay, our baking is going up. Gosh, that was much more successful than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and we can sell these pictures of Clover. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, and a thousand simoleons. This is like a record winner. Is there a bathroom? There is a bathroom. Anything that Holly does, everybody is paying attention to. She didn't buy any of our food, but this lady, Alex, actually 
liked our cat. Can we introduce ourselves to her? I think it's important to try to make a few friends as well. And actually, can we play, like, take a photo of... Oh, we could take a photo of a bunch of people, but what about our cat? What if I just want to take a photo of our cat? <laughs> take a photo of a group of adults or children. Oh my gosh, tend the photo studio. What happens if you just tend the photo studio? Let's play with it, because really, I feel like... Amelia is definitely the kind of sim where she has no problem uh, just trying out new things. And she's kind of tired and a little hungry, but hey, she has a sourdough loaf that she can actually eat that nobody bought, you know? That's totally cool. And uh, like there's a dance floor. Oh, but this thing is broken. She could do a dance battle for fame or just show off some moves, but I think she's just excited. Here, can I send Clover home maybe? I could Simstagram him, pet care. Okay, I'm going to try sending him home so he can take care of his needs is the ideal. But maybe let's Simstagram him again. And then maybe add to Simstagram's story. Clover, eternally, eternally from that awkward angle. There we go. And now we can be like, Grandma, we had a great time at the festival, at the fair. Yeah, yeah, and Clover's gained more followers. There we go. But we can tell Grandma we had a great time at the fair. She sent us $29 as a tip. Which is so cute. Oh yeah, look at this woman's like, wow, you bake? That's so cool. <gasps> yeah, we bake! Hey, do you want a gift? Let's brighten your day, Alex, because you seem really cool. Let's show off our pet, Clover. Look, Clover's getting so much attention! Everybody's so excited about him. Yeah, this is the way life's supposed to be. We're going to show off our cat. There we go. Let's go ahead and maybe uh, give a gift. I really want to give her a gift, a friendly gift, of our sourdough loaf. Because she was nice to us and nice to our cat. What is happening there? I have no idea. I think that's her trying to show off the cat somehow. There we go. We're brightening her day. Clover, watch out. There's a strange man in the way. And can we give her a gift of the sourdough loaf? Yay, we can! Oh, and she got a friendly reputation at the fair for that. That is so nice. I really like that. Oh, no, what happened? She didn't like our gift? Oh, okay. Sourdough loaf, not popular here. I think we'd be a little hurt and ready to go and tell Clover all about it. Oh, what's this? We're off to view something? Oh, somebody made it. Oh. <laughs> Look at all the paintings everybody made. Wow. And we can actually purchase it straight off here. That's amazing. If we had the money, maybe. Let's actually come over and tend the photo studio just to see what that does really quickly. Does it give her any photography skill? Will anyone, like, come over and... Clover! Hey, Clover! Can I take a photo of anyone? Can I offer to? Do we have any photography skill to speak of? Not enough. Not enough. All right, all right, all right. Let's go home, Clover. This was a successful trip. Let's see if we can actually buy ourselves a computer because I feel, I would feel weird letting her work with the media trait until, like, the media production trait until she actually owns a computer. And she's going to need to own a computer if she's kind of going to be the millennial who is savvy on social media and post those viral videos of her cats at her bakery while also running a great bakery. Gosh, I wonder if she needs like a, a partner at her bakery to help her do all of those things because that's a lot. Also, Clover, I'm going to go ahead and fill up your food bowl. And once we do that, we will see if we can afford a nice little computer right over here so that we can talk to grandma a little bit easier. We will still write her letters because she's very particular about that. Every Sunday, she wants a letter in the mail, darling, and she'll send you a package as well. Uh, but let's get a desk. Doo -doo -doo. We have a perfect corner for this that I have been like keeping an eye on for quite a while. We're gonna transfer our funds. We got a lot of money from selling our baked goods too. So I sort of feel like she'll keep in the culinary career to be responsible because we 
don't have the place set up to do what we want with it yet. Oh, these are so cute. I never noticed how adorable this teen writing desk was before. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Uh, yeah, and of course I had to get the expensive one, so now we can't actually afford the computer. Good job, Siri. <laughs> that's okay. I really, we probably needed at least a respectable mid-range desktop, so I think that's okay. We'll go ahead and we will wrap up the night by having her write to grandma. Oh, this is such a cute chair. Yes. I want that one. Uh, well, actually, do I want that one? Cousin Jeb's favorite chair. Does it give any... It doesn't give any comfort at all. So... Mm, should I go $50 more? Uh, there's the classic wooden dining chair. That's a cute chair that we could put over here. Oh, this one's really cute. And now we're completely broke, but I can't help it. I, oh my gosh, it has little tassels. See, Amelia needs to think about those things for props and set design for when she is going to start uh, trying to make those viral videos for her cats. So let's let her settle in and uh, actually we'll let her eat really quickly, get leftovers. And then we'll have her write in her journal for a hot minute. She's eating some cereal marshmallow squares about the successful sales that she had and, and how she was actually able to have people buy her baked goods. So it's giving her confidence to hang in there even though the people at her work are kind of judgmental about it and indicate that she's just she just wants to dream about becoming a baker, but she's not really gonna be able to make it happen. And she's gonna, like, not aggressively, because I don't think there's really a super mean bone in her body. But Amelia is going to show them that she's capable because she baked those breads, if we look again, for like four simoleons and we sold them for like a hundred. So I think with a little bit more effort, we are really on our way to something special. But all right, guys, I'm going to let her write in her journal and write a letter early to her grandma. No! No, stop that. We're going to lecture about scratching instead. But that's okay because we have to successfully train out two misbehaviors. But she's going to write a letter to her grandma and she's going to write in her journal for a little bit about how happy she is. There we go. That she finally was able to sell something. Yay! And now she wants to become friends with animals. So, oh, and it is coming up on the weekend. So on Saturday she will actually go and volunteer at the shelter so we can go visit with a bunch of animals. It's going to be so exciting. But all right, guys, and tomorrow is the talent showcase at the Stargazer Lounge. But I think we're going to go ahead and maybe bake instead so that we can go and we can volunteer at the shelter uh, the next day. And I actually saw that there was a special thing that you can do when you go to volunteer where you volunteer at a bake sale. So I think we're actually going to have her volunteer at a bake sale to raise money for the shelter and take cookies on Saturday. So, oh my gosh, I'm feeling like things are finally starting to get moving for Amelia. It's amazing what will happen if you have a little bit of cash. But I, I really admire that she's going to try to stick with her job as a dishwasher and see if something happens, at least for now. At least until we can just open up our own bakery and start adopting kittens. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, do please consider doing so. This has been an amazing episode and I can't wait to bring you so many more of her adventures. And if you could, please leave a like to celebrate Amelia's very first successful sale of her own baked goods. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!